here you can see all my pipe drawers but there's something missing probably just took you five seconds to figure that one out and maybe you recognize this here we got all the rusty hooks rusty fishing hooks it's kind of amazing how fast they start to rust and they look so terrible especially compared to these fancy all top-notch looking lures so today this video is gonna be about how you permanently rust proof your fishing hooks hang on guys so the first thing we're gonna do is to talk about safety here we have acid maybe you've seen Breaking Bad they dissolve corpse in acid this is 40% and this is gonna be used to clean our hooks in there now and we're dissolving all the rust here you can see all the bubbles that are forming that's hydrogen gas when the acid hits the iron hydrogen gas is formed at the same time the rust goes into solution and the solution becomes green now they've been in there for about 15 minutes so now we're going to take them out and neutralize them. Most of the rust is now gone. Now starts the pre-treatment steps for making them rust proofed. So here's the first step in the pre-treatment. Concentrated sodium hydroxide. If you get this in your eyes you will be blind. Calcic soda, Mr. Muscle. 82. Well it's set to 90 degrees and that's where we will end up. But I will start loading them in there now. This solution removes all grease, fingerprints, fat, oil, seaweed. It degrades everything. So while the acid took away the iron oxide, or any type of oxides, inorganics, this is removing all the organics. And in this solution they will be sitting for 15 to 20 minutes. You can already now see that some of the hooks are starting to become very nice again. But they're not rust protected yet. Please remember that concentrated sodium hydroxide is very dangerous. So now we're just going to fish them out and transfer them hot right into the acidic bath here. And this is what activates the surface before the electroplating. And this is the last step of removing any type of oxides. And now all the fish gunk or any other organic stuff seaweed that's been sitting on the hooks is 100% gone and in this one they need to be two minutes So that's two minutes 
and now we just transfer them into distilled water. And here you can see all the heat cleaned hooks. So now there's absolutely no rust on them and no organic residue or stuff. It's all been released and the hooks are ready for electroplating. So now we got them all hooked up in the electroplating solution. And this is after 10 minutes growth or galvanization of your fishing hooks. You can see now how the sink is attaching everywhere. So when you galvanize your fishing hooks like this, then the temperature you run at is at 55 degrees about. And this is five hooks and it's 0.39 amps. So it's 0.08 amps per hook. So the optimal galvanization current is 0.08 amps per hook and now it's been about 12 minutes so I'm gonna cut the electricity These are my galvanized fishing hooks. So now these won't rust for 20 years because I put on about 20 micron thickness of zinc in this case. And that you have to calculate. So theoretically it should be that. And maybe you run off 0.3 millimicron per year. So there's just a little bit of polishing left to do. And that's it. So when you plated all your hooks, they're gonna look something like this. And the coverage depends a little bit on how well you were able to clean your hooks before you actually started the plating. But now they're all covered and you can actually load in five or six hooks at a time in your little reactor. So that goes pretty fast. And now it's just left a little bit of polishing. But I'm gonna give them a minute each on the polishing wheel. But this sink plating you have here is very strongly attached to the surface of the hooks. So let's look at the end results. And this is how your new hooks will turn out after galvanizing them. And now I had them for one minute on the wire brush, each hook. But you can see that they start shining again. And now it's the zinc that is shining. So this means basically that you put a sacrifice metal on your fishing hooks and this sacrifice method will last for many years. Well, good luck with yours.